Hi guys, Zara Mori here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is slightly different. I decided to do a vlog. I'm gonna take you along with me apartment hunting. That is right, after a year spent indoors in our apartment here in Russian Hill, we thought we can really use an upgrade and the market right now it's really good. Just to give you a little bit of a context, I moved to San Francisco eight years ago and that was like the peak of the housing shortage. Uh, the only one bedroom apartments that were um, like the cheapest one bedroom apartments that were becoming available at that point in time were around $3,200 and they were the worst of the worst you can imagine. Uh, they were small with gross carpets and wall appliances but regardless of all that and the price tag there will be like 20 people at the open house bidding to get the apartment off the market that was how bad it was because there were so many people moving in here for work and there was not enough new construction to accommodate the demand so it was very very bad but because of recent year changes and because of the pandemic, many people have left the city temporarily or even permanently, which has led to a lot more availability in terms of units. And the prices have gone down 20%, which is unseen for me. I'm very, very excited. We're going to do a little bit of shopping around see what's out there. I haven't really limited the neighborhoods. I'm going to see places in new areas because the funny thing about San Francisco is that it's not a big city. However, when you get an apartment in one of the neighborhoods, you kind of end up only hanging out in that neighborhood or the ones that are right next to it and you don't branch out quite as much. So every time we have moved within the city, it's been a great refresher and a great change to just explore new, new corners of this beautiful, gorgeous city that we get to call home. So today I'm gonna uh, take you along with me. I'm gonna show you like a walk through the apartment. I'm gonna list the price and the neighborhood. And I'm excited to see if we find anything really good. Let's go. First unit is right by Alamo Square and it's greeting us with a gigantic closet off the door. It's great for storage. This place is listed for $2,500. It has big bathroom with shower over tub, really nice size. Then the kitchen is also a great size, however the appliances are really old. There is a dishwasher which is amazing but the stove needs to be changed, it's so janky. <laughs> really old and not great. I love that it's white and that it's spacious. Moving on, there are two rooms. One is your living room, the other one is your bedroom. They're mirror images of each other and they have these huge closets, two of them, which is a big selling point for this apartment. I can have one of these closets for myself and then the other one for Henry. The size of the rooms is decent. The unit is facing the back. We are actually mostly looking at units that are facing away from the street because we want peace and quiet, especially in old buildings like this one. You know, the windows are not great when it comes to sound insulation. This is what they expect you to turn into a bedroom, but you can swap the rooms. They are mirror images of each other. This is the other closet. Love, love, love this. All in all, great unit. Second floor out of three. Comes with parking and there is laundry in the building. Okay, next unit. I love the arch doors. You walk straight into your living room. Not a fan of the awkward shaped fireplace. I think it really makes the room smaller. This here is your bedroom. It is facing the back, so it's very quiet gets decent light, not much of a view. You kind of just see this rooftop over here, but quiet, which is very important for us. The whole apartment has only one closet for storage, which disqualifies it. We cannot fit in a unit that only has one closet, but let me show it to you anyways. Bathroom over here, a weird decision to put the mirror, not behind the sink, but on the side of it. Not really sure what the thinking was behind that design decision. Okay, back to the living room. I mean, great light, but the shape of it, it's kind of very restrictive. Then we go into the kitchen. The kitchen has a gas stove. 
no dishwasher. So this unit also does not have parking, but it's listed for only $2,100. It's located off the Visadero. So for a budget apartment, I think this is great. I don't, I don't think I've seen anything in San Francisco for $2,100 that looks like this. Oh, this over here, we were told, is a retirement home. So they said it's very quiet. The unit also gives you access to the rooftop. The rooftop overlooks the Visadero and you can bring a chair up here, read a book. You can do a quick barbecue or you can um, grow spices which is nice. But yeah, this unit doesn't have a lot of the things we're looking for. So moving on. This is a top floor unit in the marina. There is a closet right off the door. Here we have a functioning fireplace. The unit is listed for 2400 and then parking is additional 150. So 2550. It faces the back, but you have a nice uh, view of the skyline towards Russian Hill and Knob Hill. The kitchen is one of the best ones we've seen so far. I really like it. The ceiling is beautiful with exposed beams. The white backsplash, New York subway tile. Love, love, love electric stove and dishwasher so far it checks all the boxes this living space i like it it's great let's go check out the bedroom back to the bedroom it's across from the front door it is carpet i don't know why i don't like carpet but i can live with it i guess a decent size closet although my current closet is much bigger than this so if we take this unit we'll have to figure something out install more shelving and drawers you have the hallway closet decent size as well there is a linen closet over here and the bathroom is nice. I really love the view from the bathroom because you can kind of look at the skyline while you're showering. Last unit we are seeing today is this one bedroom top floor on Twin Peaks. You are on the edge of the city, but the views of downtown are sweeping. There will be a lot of good sunrises and sunsets. Love the light, large living area. That's a great closet over here for storage. The unit is $2,600. It comes with parking. There's laundry in the building. Kitchen feels new. Great refrigerator, dishwasher, electric stove. And as you are cooking, you can look over to downtown. I love that. Moving on to the bedroom. Henry's already there testing the sound pollution levels because there are two bus stops right outside our window and the buses in San Francisco can be really loud when they stop and when they depart so he wants to make sure it's not too unpleasant so he's waiting for the bus to come here we have a closet it's not a bad size but my current closet is much bigger I'm not concerned though because there are two other closets over here one has shelving floor to ceiling shelving and then here is another one between the four closets in the unit i think we'll be okay this is the bathroom and yeah the unit is really really nice i quite like it all right this is it for today oh my god looking for an apartment kind of feels like a full-time job just driving from one place to another thinking about all the questions you need to ask waiting all the pros and cons of the unit but i am excited i've never seen so much availability around san francisco let me know in the comments below what you think about these apartments should we make a part two of this video i'm seeing a few more units next week let me know if it was interesting consider subscribing to my channel i would love to see you around more have a great week and see you next time.